Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox. With me is Eric Johansson. I am one of the co-founders of LSATdemon.com. Eric's a teacher with us at LSAT Demon. Eric, we have an email in front of us from Anonymous. Anonymous writes, Hi, LSAT Demon. I'm an international applicant applying this cycle. I've been out of school for four years and I spent one year working at a U.S. company and then two years at a company outside of the U.S., I have two letters of recommendation from professors, but I noticed a few of the schools I'm applying to strongly require an employer <laughs> letter of recommendation for applicants with significant work experience. I wonder if anonymous means strongly recommend? Because strong, like, can you, can you strongly require something? No. In LSAT terms, requires means requires. Yeah. So there's no such thing as strongly requiring. It's just, it's like you can't strongly kill someone, right? Like you kill them, they're dead. And there's no strongly about it. It either is or is not a killing. It either is or is not required. So. And I, I, I am unaware of law schools that require professional. They're, they're probably, they're probably are. But I, I imagine that most, if they want to see one, would just say, hey, it's recommended. Yeah, I mean, taking them at their word strongly requires means it's required. Do it. You gotta so do you it. have to do it. Yeah. If that's a typo, though, if anonymous meant strongly recommends. Depends on how confident you are that that letter would be strong. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, I would still try to try to do it, try to get that strong letter of recommendation from a professional source. But if it's going to water down your application then yeah. maybe you don't anonymous has a couple of questions you want to yeah. read these yeah anonymous asks do does three years count as significant work experience would it reflect badly on me to not submit an employer letter of recommendation what do you think about that <laughs> oh yeah it's strongly required for applicants with significant work experience. So significant sure. work experience is open to your interpretation. But I mean, I would tell you that there's a bit of peril for not submitting a professional letter of recommendation here because you are either telling them I'm violating your requirement or you're telling them my work experience is not significant. Hmm. Why would your work experience be not significant if you graduated four years ago? Or you're telling them I couldn't get someone to write a letter yeah. of recommendation. Right. Um, so does three years count as significant work experience? For a lot of people, yeah. it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah. To, I'm, I'm thinking about where I was three years after graduation, and I have felt like I had had significant work experience. Have you even been with us for three years yet? Uh, it's been about three years. Yeah. yeah. You're, uh -huh. and you're part time, but you're a significant contributor to our team. I mean, like that is absolutely significant work experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anonymous, I would say, yeah, you probably want to get that letter of recommendation from a professional source. Yeah. Given your experience. Second question. Also, because my manager at my most recent job does not speak fluent English, is it okay to get a letter of rec from my first job after graduation? I mean, you only worked at that company for one year. You've worked for two years at this company outside of the US. If I was evaluating your application, you know what? I probably wouldn't look into it that closely, to be honest. It'd be like, yeah, they've been out of school for a while. Do they have a professional letter? Yeah, they do. The professional letter says nice things. Okay, great. I think it's probably fine. You're, you know, you're meeting the requirement or the recommendation. If it, you know, you just got an, is it going to be an enthusiastic letter? Are they going to say nice things about you? Does this person who you're going to get write you the letter know who you are? They worked closely with you. They're going to say nothing but good things about you on this letter of recommendation. If that's the case, then no problem. But your current boss, you know, just because they don't speak fluent English doesn't mean they can't write this letter. And if they would say really, if they guaranteed are going to go to bat for you, you can help them with the writing part. I mean, they have to submit the letter without you seeing it uh, at the point of submission. 
Right. But that doesn't mean you can't help them. I mean, many people, many recommenders say, oh, yeah, I'd love to write you a letter of recommendation. You go ahead and draft it and then I'll I'll edit it and send it in. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with you helping this person write a letter and they could just upload it just like that if you wanted. So there are solutions here just because they aren't fluent in English doesn't mean they can't submit this letter for you. Yeah. But I do think it sounds pretty much like anonymous should get, should put a professional rec uh, letter into their record here. I agree. I think it's a question mark. Uh, if you, if you don't have, it's not going to, it's not going to sink your application, but it is something that if you're a highly selective law school looking for any reason to doubt an applicant, Oh, they've worked for three years, but they don't have a letter of rec from an employer. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Yeah. What are like, what's your LSAT? What's your GPA? I think that would have been kind of helpful here Hmm. because lower LSAT, lower GPA as an international applicant, you're going to start like people will be questioning your ability to uh, like function professionally in the English language. And so they might start having some concerns about whether you'll be successful in law school. They might have some concerns about whether you'll be employable once you graduate from law school. So there might be a case to be made for having the U S recommender write a letter about what you were able to do in the United States. I don't know. I don't, I think yeah. probably it just doesn't really matter that much. If yeah. They don't require stress. it. We're probably the amount that we're talking about it probably oversells uh, the importance. The importance, yeah. but yeah, anonymous. Don't sweat it too much. Get that professional letter or rec if you, uh, rec if you can. Um, Perfect. But yeah, don't don't lose sleep over it. All right. Thanks, anonymous. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening. Yeah.